everyone, it's Chris from CSTrainingSystems.com and today we're talking about the dead bug. More specifically, the high tension dead bug, meaning that as you're doing this, there's tension throughout the entire body the whole time. If you finish a set of high tension dead bugs and your core is not on fire, it wasn't a high tension dead bug. So I love high tension dead bugs for a number of reasons. First reason is it's a great anti-extension exercise. So it's just like a plank or a rollout. You lump it into the same category as those guys. In addition, depending on what variation of a dead bug you do, there's a lot of other things going on at the same time. In the high tension dead bug, you're actively training hip flexion, which is something that a lot of people can miss out nowadays. There's multiple muscles that flex your hip, but there's only one muscle that flexes it above 90 degrees. And when you're doing a high tension dead bug, you're going to work that muscle. This is important because when that muscle is kind of underactive, you can compensate by rounding your low back when trying to flex your hip above 90 degrees. So if you're an athlete and you're sprinting all the time, you're going to compensate, but in ways you don't want to. And then you might run into things like low back pain or other issues. And you really don't want to have that happen. Plus, if you're doing the dead bug variation where the arms drop over your head, you're going to get some overhead movement, which is going to allow your scapula or your shoulder blade to move up and rotate like it should, which is going to translate into healthy movement of the shoulder. And then when you add an exhale to the movement, you're really going to feel your core engage. So the muscles at your core basically help with the late stages of respiration. So when you exhale long and hard, you're going to feel your stomach really contract and really burn. And you're going to get the most out of this exercise that you possibly could. Plus, there's a lot of research that says when you add that exhale and you activate your core muscles, it's actually going to serve as a hip mobility drill because when your core muscles turn on, it basically provides stability for your hips and allows them to increase their range of motion. So honestly, a lot of people tell me they have tight hips when in reality, they just have a weak core. So when you do the high tension dead bug, set up a band around a post or on something that you can tie it to. Keep your arms straight and pull that band down and you'll feel your stomach tighten up automatically. Now, if you're doing a knees bent version, this is kind of a regression. So I'd recommend you start on this one. While you're keeping tension on that band, straighten out one leg and with your bent knee, actively pull your knee to your chest. So one leg is out straight, one leg is being pulled to your chest, arms are tight because they're holding that band in place and at the bottom of that movement <sighs> exhale all the air out of your lungs once you've exhaled everything from your lungs inhale through your nose switch legs exhale again and repeat for reps if you want to take it up another level straighten out your legs and don't allow your knees to bend throughout the movement once you've mastered the version with the band and keeping your core tight then you can let go of that band and add an opposite arm reach overhead with whatever leg you're extending out straight but just remember hard exhale whenever you drop a leg actively pull that knee to your chest so you want to feel your hip flexors firing and keep your low back flat to the ground. If you feel your low back arch off the ground as you're doing this movement, something went wrong and you need to either brace tighter or don't drop your legs as low. Work within whatever range you can to keep that low back squashed flat to the floor. So give this one a try. I guarantee you're gonna like it.